Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, part two, episode number four. All right, uh, the previous episode, um, <laughs> so many things happened. Uh, the first uh, shocking, not shocking, but the first uh, like, you know, big thing that happened was um, Galliard, you know, uh, giving his life and, uh, you know, uh, Falco because of the scream of Zeke's scream. Uh, he turned into a titan then consumed galliard so i'm guessing he's going to be the inheritor of his titan so uh porco is gone but uh falco will be fine hopefully uh that's like i think that's like a good thing in in my way uh, like you know, in my opinion because uh porco would have probably been unable to live much because i i guess his time was come i'm not sure how much his time was like you know so like you know like falco at least falco will be able to live now you know like it's sad that he had to give his life but you cannot do anything about it um but yeah so that was that um like i'm, I'm obviously i kind of like you know was hoping that falco somehow got um like you know revived or somehow was all right you know and uh, thankfully this happened so i'm thankful for falco you know to actually uh like you know being that person who was like okay like yeah i'm i'm ready to sacrifice myself for like you know someone else and good for him you know like he, he did uh, like you know he gave, he gave a sacrifice but at least falco will be fine now um i don't know I'm, i i like you know i, I kind of have like this preference for falco a lot like, i'm kind of biased towards him i don't know why <laughs> but anyways um that was that the shocking thing that happens after that uh gabi blows up aaron's head and uh damn like <laughs> it flew the head flew completely my god and <laughs> Like, I don't know what to feel, like, I guess, like, you know, the, I said this in the previous episode, I don't blame Gabi for this action, because this is war, like, you know, like, you, you, you cannot, like, you know, like, he, she, she was just sitting see there, seeing that everyone's dying, I, I'm like, you know, all his, com all her comrades are dying, and he, she did something there, and that's why I don't blame her, I blame her for Sasha, Sasha said, but I don't blame her for this, so, I'm all okay with Gabi now, you know, he, she already uh, repented enough, and uh, she had to do this so that was that and then like you know like uh, then the next thing happens where we kind of see that zeke and you know aaron was inside and uh, the whole like you know the, the 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 coordinate and everything and we see uh, yamir the original yamir and uh, we see that zeke was actually testing aaron to see whether he's tricking them or not and he was and was tricking them not tricking them but kind of you know manipulating them and doing things their way so that he could just you know back out in the end but uh, zeke was a bit uh, like you know can i say like a bit um you know like kind of saw through that and he was ready for it and i don't know what's going to happen now like zeke zeke is like you know like goes like you know going to use i don't know what's going to happen let's see like you know they kind of bumped head and both royal blood and you know like the coordinate kind of you know combined and let's see what happens here um yeah and it's kind of in a pinch now so let's see how he gets out of this or if he is able to get out of this or not anyways let's get started this is episode number four of attack on titan the final season part two so i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one Hmm, what's happening? Flashback or something like that? <laughs> it's not this peaceful. What the? Who is this? Is this Aaron? No. No, wait, who is this? Is this Aaron and Grisha? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so they're like seeing this scene. Oh. I don't know. Let's see. That seems like brainwashing to me. You know, the thing that <laughs> he was talking about brainwashing, but. Oh, anyways. Hmm. 
Damn, he has some big grudges. Oh. Yeah, he he is really not. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> Look at Aaron. <laughs> Who would have wondered this kid will <laughs> be this? <laughs> oh boy. Wait. Who? Oh. oh okay 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 hmm <laughs> what I think he's he's trying to trick him again. He's tricking him again. And he's try, trying to trick him again. <laughs> Zeke's not buying it. Zeke's like, uh uh, I, I already fell for that kind of before. So I won't this time. What the? <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's like going and fishing for information from everyone. Oh, really? Yeah. How? Wait, this quickly? Yeah. Wait, what? What 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 was that? What is happening? Okay. Wait, the oh. Can't see here this? Okay, there you go. What the? Wait, what? Damn. What? Wait, he can see him? Wait, I do remember. There's like one thing that they say that um, this. Oh my god! Wow, that that was loud. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I I was talking about like I remember one thing. They talked about this before that this coordinate or whatever, it actually connected both past and future. You know, like that scene where. Um, what was his name? I forgot his name. You know that that guy, uh, the owl. I I don't remember his name. Uh, I forgot his name. It was very close to Aaron's name, as far as I remember. Anyways, he said that like you know you in the, in the last scene of I think season three or something, 
he said something he mentioned Aaron uh, uh, no sorry he's mentioned Armin and Mikasa even though that was in the past and Armin and Mikasa probably had still not born was born there and like you know Grisha asked like who are you talking about and he said oh I don't know I just felt like saying that like that kind of showed that both past and the future is connected like this whole thing and that's why maybe here as well Grisha saw like Zeke's like you know as an like old bearded man just standing in front of him because he's connected with both the past and the future since uh, Zeke and Aaron is I don't know is that is that what was happening there I don't know maybe 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 it was something like that otherwise why would he suddenly see Zeke from the f mem there you go memories from the future all right let's see <coughs> hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that was his decision, not being. Oh boy, it was his own decision, you know. <coughs> yeah, I wonder what his plan is. Aaron's plan. Oh yeah, this scene. Hmm. Damn. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yeah, he's hitting the... <coughs> <coughs> oh boy. Yeah. Um. Why why is he blushing? What what's happening? <laughs> I think I think Zeke is the one who needs saving first <laughs> like as Aaron says like you know you are just oh Yeah, this is the basement. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's going to hang it on Aaron's neck. And inject him. Wait, he's seeing him again. Oh my god. <laughs> he's just standing there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is that day. Um, when, when Mikasa kind of snitches on Eren. Or is it not? Oh no, it's not that day. Or maybe. 
All right, there you go. It is that day. <laughs> Zeke is like. Wow, it's like weird seeing this scene again. Oh boy. Wait, he's looking at him. What the? Oh my God, this is freaky. Did it... I think? Oh yeah, he goes underground. Okay, this scene. He pleads for their help. What small paths instead intersect this time? There you go, instant and infinite. Okay, anyways. Yeah, it's good. Yep, it's not going to happen. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, what? You must have done that. Wait, what? Oh, oh, come on, Zeke, not this time. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my god. What is this thing? Like... Wait, what? Yeah, she's like Zeke. Oh no! I feel like... Yeah, he's not royalty. Wait, what? No. In haters of the attack, and if I bow to anyone, that wait, 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 gives into the memories of his future. Oh no, I oh my god, I understand what's going to happen now. 
Oh my god. Aaron is going to do something now, isn't he? You can do so you use Yeah, he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, then I thought Anne was going to do something here. Oh no, I feel like that's what Aaron said that this disgusted me. Oh no. Oh my god, I realized the reason of him saying why he said that. He, he just said that I've been born, born a monster from the beginning. Eren. Oh my god, this guy. Okay, okay, I understand the reason why Eren said that. He's disgusted at the fact that Grisha wasn't able to take that step. Oh my god, that's why he was disgusted. Oh, wow, this is a big revelation. What the hell? Oh, great. And since he can see his... He can see the memories of the future. God. <sighs> yeah, and this is what happens. Oh my god. <sighs> Was that his Aaron's plan all the time? Yeah, and he goes back and injects Aaron with the uh, and gives him the necklace, a locket. Wow. Damn, it's wild thinking about it. So, Eren basically created Eren. Then we're seeing now was created by Eren himself. Oh boy. Yeah. Great. Wow. Oh no. Oh my God.
Wow. Yeah, well, at least he knows the truth now. Whoa! Okay, well... Hmm. <laughs> wow! So, yeah, so... <laughs> up until this time, we were thinking... Oh, Zeke was actually kind of testing Aaron to do this. Aaron was actually, I guess, I guess no one is in the right nor in the wrong. This is like a very weird thing. Like everyone is correct in their own way and wrong in their own way. So yeah, up until now we've been thinking that, yeah, Aaron became the Jaegerists, one of the Jaegerists. And then we realized that, yes, yeah, he was actually tricking Zeke. And then we realized like, no, Zeke was actually testing Aaron up until this time. And now we are seeing that, oh, probably that testing was also part of maybe Aaron's plan. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, like, oh, this is all according to plan. And the other person is like, no, you're all according to my, your plan is my all according to my plan. And the other person is like, no, it's all according to my plan. Like, this is happening, basically, like... <laughs> wow. Okay, well, that's the end. My god. Haha. <laughs> okay, this episode... Um... Ah, okay, so the full recollection episode, we see what was happening here, and uh, first of all, um, okay, okay, I'll talk about it later, I'll just, I, I need to check something out, but I'll talk about it later, anyways, um, okay, the first thing we see is that Zeke and Eren is like, you know, seeing all the memories, and obviously Zeke doesn't know about these memories, because he had not gone through these memories, but this is like, you know, Eren was a kid at this time, and kind of remembered stuff, you know, like, and especially when he become like a te not teenager, but like when like five or six years old he was. I'm sure after from after that time onwards he remembered everything. <clears throat> but Zeke knows nothing about any of this because he was not here. So Zeke thinks that okay, during this time, it's a time when Grisha probably brainwashed Aaron. And he's like, Alright, I'm going to save you. My little brother, I'm definitely going to save you. I'm not going to abandon you just like my father abandoned me. Like, this is the thing, you know. Like, I've always seen this weird, like, you know, uh, what can I say? Like, thing with uh, Zeke where he cared too much about Aaron even though he didn't even know him. Like, you know, as soon as he hears, like, this thing, like, you know, it always kind of, kind of, like, you know, made me kind of, like, uh, what can I say? Like, it kind of, um made me sus not suspect but it was kind of weird for me that like Gre uh, not grisha sorry zeke did didn't even know about eren at all so in that in, in one of the uh, pre in the one of the previous seasons where uh, zeke meets eren for the first time even at, even at that time he says that okay i'll definitely save you like this weird love of zeke for eren now like i always found this weird you know why because first of all, he never knew Aaron before, number one. Number two, um, like, they, they're they not even, like, you know, like, they're half-brothers, you know? Like, I'm not saying that it's wrong to, like, you know, like, you know, not wrong, but weird to, like, you know, love, what can I say, like, f have uh, feelings of affection for uh, your half-brother. But I'm saying that the way he, like, you know, the reason, like, you know, he didn't even know him, and when he sees him, he's like, oh, I'm definitely going to save you. This, this weird type of affection, I always found this a little bit unusual. Now I realize why. Zeke has always been thinking of Eren as himself as a kid. You know, he, just like Eren said later on, he says that 
like you know like i am not someone erin says that i am not someone who has gone through the same things that you went through you know like you're trying to sympathize with me you're trying to feel like oh i'm the same person that was you as a child but no it was not i was born a monster erin says that and zeke has always been like you know kind of equating erin as himself and he's thinking like oh just like how like you know my dad grisha abandoned me he probably did something same to erin brainwashed him you know i will not let that happen i will save erin by this he is trying to save himself zeke is trying to save himself his past self you know like he has this thing this weird complex of that yeah dad like you know never cared about me you know like kind of manip not man in manip yeah manipulated brainwashed me a little bit and made me go in a wrong direction and then abandoned me there's this thing within him and by saving eren in his mind he's saving himself you know so i think this was the reason why he was so overly affectionate about eren from the beginning even though they didn't even know each other you know like uh, zeke just heard about eren he didn't know anything about eren so like you know this this affection kind of manifested because it was it was just him looking at his past self and feeling sad for himself that was basically it my god like i realized this in this episode like you know like this whole thing this this affection why he had this much affection for eren like yeah it's it's a weird type of an affection he just he just tried to like you know like saw eren as himself and decided to save him because he himself was never saved why wow. wow and yeah like <clears throat> he's like okay i'm going to show you you know how your dad brainwashed you this and that and <clears throat> just wait you know unless and until i am able to uh you know show you the fact that yeah you were brainwashed i'm going to replay this over and over again okay the first scene is obviously like you know grisha and carla you know and um eren just like and eren was a baby <laughs> that scene and then eren learns to walk and like you know zeke also shows eren all the stuff like you know how uh, grisha kind of <coughs> okay so like buttered up uh higher ups so that he can get to know where the founder titan is this and that mm. and eren is like yeah yeah you might try to like you know show not show so you might try to yeah show me that i have been brainwashed but i actually have not been brainwashed you know like you you are mistaken about that okay and then the, he goes to the the king's hideout i think that that church thing and okay one thing I was, i'm kind of confused here what did he see there like you know attack on titan has so many information i feel like i i should know what he saw here but i can't recall it i don't know or maybe not you know if this is no spoilers you know if this all has already happened let me know in the comment section like you know when he goes into the um the church thing and he op like you know kind of opens the the carpet like you know kind of lifts it up and kind of seems shocked about something goes back kind of cries with eren and even eren and zeke was shocked at that moment what was that scene i feel like i should know what it is but i i cannot recall it what actually happened there if this is no spoiler let me know because i i cannot remember anything what happened there or maybe this is something that we are get, going to get to know in the future if it is something like that no need to let me know like it would be obviously a spoiler but if this is something that we should know up until now and i'm just unable to recall it let me know but anyways um okay <clears throat> now here's where the weirdest things starts happening um, zeke is like you know like uh, zeke and eren is there and like you know grisha is kind of sleeping with with the picture and grisha um, like talks like you know not talks but kind of mumbles in her his sleep like zeke i like you know i'm sorry this and that and <clears throat> zeke is surprised obviously zeke is like what is happening you know my dad was repentful and 
Z- Grisha gets up and he sees Zeke, the future Zeke, in front of him. And he's like, is that you, Zeke? Like, oh no, what, what am I saying? I'm, am I going crazy? Like, I'm seeing like a weird bearded old man here. That's obviously not Zeke. <laughs> and this is what it struck me. Like, I, I always like found that fact fascinating. Then, like, you know, mm, I, I, I don't remember his name. Owl, I'm going to call him Owl. I don't remember his name at all. Just a second, Aaron. Uh, anyways, mm, uh, yeah, uh, Owl. I always found that scene very fascinating when Owl just suddenly, like you know, mutters Armin and Gasa's name, and Grisha's like, "Wait, who are you talking about?" And he's like, "I wonder who I'm talking about. I don't know." And uh, like you know, like and then then there's this information that. It's like it's connected to the past and the future. That's why he probably like you know muttered Armin and Mikasa's name. That always made me fascinated. That whole scene, and it kind of struck me at that moment that yeah maybe this is something similar to that. And we do get the official reason why he, he was seeing memories from the future. I'll talk about it later. Obviously, we know what it is because of the Attack Titan, and <clears throat> so you know he sees Zeke from the future. And he kind of mutters that and just like you know sits down. And okay now, all right. And then we see all the other memories as Aaron is growing up. And uh, yeah, Zeke is like, oh maybe you were not brainwashed. And Aaron is like, <laughs> Aaron is like, yeah, I, I never have been brainwashed. I've always been who I was from the moment I was born. And here you go. In this scene, uh, we see like you know that 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 guy like you know the killed. Uh, the guy who tried to kidnap Mikasa and killed Mikasa's parents, those guys, um, <clears throat> like you know that scene they're showing Grisha is like trying to see for their pulse, and here's what he says: "You may have thought we were the same, but you're wrong. <clears throat> Rather than letting someone steal my freedom, I'll steal theirs first. Um." Okay, and then we see Grisha lecturing him. Okay, my dad didn't make me like that. I've been this way since birth. Uh, Zeke's like since birth. You won't find the pathetic little brother you were hoping for in me. Not a convenient little brother to share your emotional scars with. All I see is a man who can't accept himself until he denies his father's wish to restore Eldia. A pathetic man still haunted by his dead father. Yeah, his point on. Okay, yeah, so this scene. Now, here's where Eren says that I have always been what I was from the moment I was born. I was not brainwashed, I was not said anything, this and that. I am a person who would rather steal someone's freedom if that person threatens my freedom. So this this line, this is this is like one of the most important lines. And I feel the reason why this is important is because after that, like you know, Z kind of recalls how Aaron said something about he felt disgusted when he saw his father's memories and stuff. Now, this is why this line is important. I feel like the reason why Eren was actually disgusted at that moment when he saw the past is that he saw Grisha doing nothing at that moment. Someone was threatening their freedom while Grisha wasn't able to do it. And since Eren said, I'm the type of person who would rather forcefully take someone else's freedom if that person endangers my freedom, I am pretty sure the scene with his father in the past when his father wasn't able to do anything disgusted him beyond words because that's the type of person Aaron is and I think that's why he said it disgusted him like we all this time we have been thinking Aaron has actually said that those words because Grisha killed those kids you know for for like you know restoring Eldia this and that that's what Zeke said like you know like uh like yo like you know like your dad killed them just like weird you know like that scene i remember that scene where zeke and aaron was just standing there and zeke was saying that oh have you seen the past like you know your your dad killed those eldians you know just because he like you know wanted to get the founder's power and wanted to restore eldia 
like you know like uh, that was disgusting or something like that i'm sure he said that and and was like yeah i saw my father's past it was disgusting and he says like you know how he, the, his dad dad killed him and all that stuff the reason why both of them were like you know saying that scene was disgusting was co- for completely different reasons zeke was saying because he thought that grisha killed them voluntarily while Aaron was probably as at that moment saying that the scene was disgusting because he remembered as when seeing the past that his dad did nothing about it you know and that i think probably disgusted him and i i'm pretty sure he realized at that moment that yeah i need to do something i need to go into the coordinate and like you know actually convince grisha to kill the like, you know founder at that moment otherwise this will not go on it's a weird thing you know this whole weird time thing because you know like seeing the past probably made him realize that yeah i need to go and do this i don't know why he realized that but i'm i'm pretty sure that was how he like you know like why he has all, all this time he has been like kind of kind of playing zeke in a way because he probably wanted to get to this scene so that he could just go and whisper the stuff to Grisha's ears so that Grisha like you know like changes into the attack titan and kills the founder gets the founder titan and go and injects uh, Eren with the thing and like you know like makes Eren eat himself and uh, you know this cycle starts moving so because of his future self his past self was born i guess in a way if you can say that like it's weird you know like yeah like his future self made his past self like fascinating you know this whole time thing like it's kind of like a paradox in a way because you know like if the past self didn't even exist how would his future self exist but if his future self did not exist and did not do that his past self wouldn't become someone like that you know i don't know like anyways it's kind of interesting to think about it like that Okay and then like you know like Zeke t- starts talking about how like you know he will never um like, you know abandon him this and then and this was what I was talking about Zeke sees himself in Eren which is obviously a mistake you know because Eren is definitely some not someone like that that's why Eren said that you are just seeing yourself in me and I'm not that pathetic little kid that you thought I was you just want someone to share your emotional scars with unfortunately I'm not that person and <clears throat> You know, like Zeke has always been seeing Eren as himself as a kid, and he wanted to save Eren because he wanted to save himself. And uh, yeah, and then like you know, all those scenes that that basement scene, uh, and that scene where Mikasa kind of snitches on Eren, <laughs> and you know, uh, Grisha is like, "All right, I'll be back, and I'll 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 show you my basement," you know. And the funny thing here, he actually says this to the um, grown-up Aaron. Okay, this scene. Um, the kid Aaron is just standing there. Grisha takes up out the key, looks deadly, not deadly, but like you know, in a weird manner at the grown-up Aaron, and says, "When I get back, I'll show you the basement that I've been kept." secret secret all this time i do wonder um i think that like you know like i i always felt it again this is another thing i always felt weird why did grisha at that moment say to that kid aaron that i'm going to show you the basement that i've kept secret for all this time why even if he showed aaron that what would that result to nothing you know he would just know the secret and i'm i'm pretty sure he he probably wouldn't be able to understand anything at that, at that moment he was a kid you know like so many complications this and that all the eldians marlians this and that it's like a complicated mess i myself when i saw that episode i had to like go back multiple times to actually realize and understand what the hell was happening in attack on titan like it blew my mind <laughs> So I I doubt Aaron would have been able to understand anything at that moment that kid Aaron. So I always felt it really weird why he said that like he's going to show Aaron the basement. Why? What would that result to? And I feel like seeing after seeing this episode that he actually told that to the future Aaron at that moment who was just standing in front of him. I think he Grisha probably said that yeah I'm going to show you the basement uh, looking at the future Aaron because the future Aaron is capable of doing something. He is like you know he's grown up enough to understand what is happening was that what was actually happening there again this is another mind blowing uh, like you know 
uh, thing if, if it is actually something like that that he actually re was referring to the future Aaron at that time not the past Aaron and told the future and I'm going to show you the basement this is another mind-blowing moment <laughs> wow this episode is fantastic like so many <laughs> so many mind-blowing moments wow okay um okay then Grisha goes back uh okay okay let me check this part information available for Public disclosure, the coordinate, the place where all paths intersect. Their time is both instant and infinite. There you go. It's like past, future, present, everything is just melded into one thing, you know? Like both instant and infinite. Very weird, <laughs> but fascinating. Okay, now we see Grisha in the, you know, in the underground talking to the. <coughs> um, what was her name? Frida? Something like that? I don't remember her name. Anyways, um, talking to the founder. And uh, here's where Grisha, uh, not Grisha, but Zeke says like, oh, here you will see why you're, like, you know, your dad killing all these kids, this and that, all that stuff. He starts saying, you're going to understand, you know, why your dad is, um, all that stuff. He starts saying, you know, and, and it's just like, like, you know, I'm wide eyed just looking at the scene. And I think Aaron probably realized that, yeah, this is where I need to actually, you know, mutter those, those, those words, those like, enticing words in his ears and make him go crazy so that he can just <laughs> kill them. Okay. And here's another thing that we get to know here. The founder actually says that we need to repent. Now, I don't know if they actually mentioned this before or not. But I always was under the impression that um, the founder always like, you know, like renounced war because that was that was like the founder's wish or something like that, you know, like renouncing war. And that's why whenever like a royal family member gets like the founder tied in his power, you know, that person renounces war. And that's why Aaron does not renounce war because he's not a royal family person, you know, like all that stuff. I like and I was under that impression. And I, I have to say, like, I, I, I probably never thought about why he renounced war. You know the founder why the founder always renounced war i didn't think about it up until this time i think this episode also answers that question because you know, i again forgot i said i said i forgot her name frida was it anyways the founder here she says that um we must renounce war because we are like, you know we should die at this moment we should repent for our sins and you know, so is that the reason why all the founders renounced war? Because they thought that they should repent, and that's why they thought that yeah, let's just not do anything and let them just come and kill us. Which is kind of weird if you think about it, isn't it? Like, it's like they got like you know ejected from Marley, you know, like they were the victim. They came here to Paradise, and now the Marleyans are trying to like, you know get Paradise as well, and they're the victims again. And they're like, you know what, our past mistakes, we should actually, like, you know, um, repent for them, let them kill us. Like, or, like it's not even confirmed, it, there's no proof that, you know, all those like things that how the Titans kind of ruled over the Marleans and what sins they committed, all those stuff, there's no concrete proof at that at all. So for those sins that they have or have not committed at all, they're kind of going a bit too far, isn't it? Like by repenting for it, like they got ejected from Marley and now they're coming for their homes again. And you know, the founder is like, yeah, we have to repent for our sins. Let's just die. Something like that. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, so that's I think that was the reason why they always renounced war, most probably. And he just she just says that it's only us Eldians who need to die. Like, wow. And obviously Aaron is not <laughs> happy with that because Aaron is a person who would probably, as, as, as he said, like I would take someone else's freedom if they endanger my freedom. So obviously this is like a big violation of Aaron's code, you know, like <laughs> he's not happy with that. And uh, now here's where I thought, like you know, I thought maybe Aaron actually killed them here. Like that's, that was what I was thinking at that moment, you know, but then we actually see what happens, you know, like. Like, and that's why I, I, for a moment I thought like, oh, wait a minute, is, is like, is this going to really happen? Like, Grisha won't be able to kill them and Eren is the one who's going to kill them or something. 
And I thought it was something like going to go in that direction. But then I realized that nah, Aaron is only like an entity here. He cannot directly interfere with this scene. Only, um, uh, what's his name? Grisha can see him because he's the attack titan. You know, because of that. Mm. Okay, now here we go. Here's where the big bomb drops. He, Grisha actually gives us one like you know information vital information he says that i know i cannot use the founding titan's power each of the nine titans has its own special trait <coughs> including the attack titan within me for ages the inheritors of the attack titan has never bowed to anyone okay and i know the reason why to fight the king's self-righteousness. Okay, I do wonder. He does say here that the, the attack titan never bowed to anyone. But since, since Grisha is having the attack titan now. But I guess, as he said, like you know, he could not do it because those are just kids. You know, he's a doctor. He's supposed to save them. Not kill them. Not kill anyone. And uh, now that was probably the reason, you know but anyways okay let's continue yes we were led by our memories all for this moment oh wait so he's saying that all of them have been led by the memories so even owl as well was led by the memories of someone in the future is that maybe maybe yeah okay okay wait so is Aaron also being led by someone <laughs> It would, it, would, it would be kind of interesting if we actually realized in the end that just like how Grisha was led by Eren, who is someone in the future, maybe Eren now currently is also being led by someone in the future who inherits the attack titan. That person is like leading Eren to do this. Anyways, uh, let's continue. <laughs> The attack titan can glimpse into the memories of his future inheritor. Oh, wait. The attack titan can glimpse into the memories of his future inheritors. Okay. Oh, wait. The attack titan can... So, the attack titan can glimpse, uh, uh, glimpse into the memories. So, Grisha is doing it, not Eren. Like, I mean, like, Grisha is glimpsing into the memories of his future inheritor, which is Eren here. So that's what he is doing. It's not something that Aaron is forcefully showing him. Grisha is, I think, voluntarily doing it. Probably. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Tag Titan can glimpse into the memories of its future inheritors. Um, in other words, it's able to know the future. Yeah. Okay. Know the future. What does he mean, Aaron? Zeke is saying this. Okay, um, okay, never mind. Okay, now, yeah, that's it. So, this this important information here. So, wait a minute. Future inheritors. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Just a sec. The attack titan can glimpse into the memories of his future inheritors. Okay, I was thinking for a moment that why was he able to see Zeke then? So, and, and then I realized that, yeah, he said that he can glimpse into the memories of his future inheritors. So, Grisha is glim uh, glimpsing into the memories of Eren. And obviously, Eren also probably has Zeke with him. So, he's glimpsing into Eren's memories. And from Eren's memory, he can see uh, Zeke. That's why he was able to see Zeke up until like you know this time. Because Aaron's, in Aaron's memories, Zeke is also a part of it. So, okay, it makes sense now, I think. <coughs> okay, mm, so after that, uh, yeah, after that, uh, Grisha takes up the knife. He tries to kill them and he like, you know, drops it. And okay, now here's the thing. Like, Eren did not know about this scene up until he saw Grisha's memories, you know? Um, that's why after that day, I'm guessing, as he said, I got disgusted after seeing that scene. And this is just my theory, but let me know if I'm wrong. Like, so that's why he was disgusted, wasn't he? He was disgusted at the fact 
that Grisha wasn't able to take away someone else's freedom who endangered his freedom, which is like the code for Eren. So him being unable to do that was probably something that made him disgusted at that moment. Is that, is that why? Or is it something else? Or did he actually see the future Eren whispering these things to, uh, you know, Grisha and maybe that disgusted him? I don't think so. I don't think that that was the reason. I'm pretty sure my first reasoning is probably correct. He was disgusted at the fact that his father wasn't, do, wasn't able to do something that simple, which was, you know, you know, like for him, it was that simple because it was like his, his own, like, you know, code. Like, take someone else's freedom if he's endangering your freedom. And I'm, think, I'm thinking that was probably what disgusted him. Because his dad wasn't able to do that. He just dropped the knife. And, uh, yeah, it's probably that. I think so. Anyways, um, okay, he, he drops down and then Aaron starts, like, you know, whispering stuff <laughs> into Grisha's ears. Like, we are thinking about it. Zeke has been talking up until now about how... Uh, you know, Grisha brainwashed Eren, but it seems like it, it, it's pre pretty apparent that it's actually Eren who brainwashed his dad. Like, damn. <laughs> wow. Okay. Alright, and Eren says stuff about, like, you know, uh, reminds him about Dinah, you know, and uh, where is it? Kruger, yeah, Kruger. That was his name. I, I, I wasn't able to remember Owl's name up until now. Kruger, that was his name. Alright. Um, Dina Kruger, you know, like you have to avenge them, this and that. Uh, aren't you just going to let them go? Your wife and kid, like you know, Carla and Aaron is just there, and they'll they'll be the victims now after this. You know, you won't be able to save them. Kill these people here. Maybe after that, you'll probably be able to save everyone. This and that. I'm sure he said all of that. He said those things, and Grisha kind of went crazy, you know, and just you know destroyed everyone. And Grisha's like, oh, I killed them, like you know. Like, Aaron, are you happy now? Like, I killed every one of them except the father, the rice, you know? And he, like, starts lamenting and he sees Zeke in front of him. And he's like, yeah, like, Zeke, I'm sorry. Like, you know, I wasn't able to be, being able to be the dad that I w was for you. Like, I'm a proper dad to you. And, like, I guess this, at this moment, Zeke got saved. You know, like, Zeke always wanted to save himself. You know, mm, and that's why he was projecting his, like, you know, sense, like, you know, his self into Aaron and was trying to save Aaron because he wanted to save himself. And I think this is the best outcome where Zeke actually, like, you know, hears from his father how much his father loved him. And his father apologizes for the actions that he did before. And yeah, Zeke got saved here, I guess, which I'm quite happy about now. No, at least he, he got like a happy ending. In a way, you can say. No, like, hopefully, I, hopefully this, this actually kind of, you know, made him realize all of that stuff and how he was not abandoned. It was like, in a way, you can say at that moment he was abandoned because, you know, his dad was like, you know, this type of a fanatic, like, you know, like kind of crazy about like, you know, restoring Eldia and all that stuff. Uh, but now at least he realizes his mistake and he apologized and I think that's probably going to save him and he he's saved now Zeke is saved and Here's where um, Grisha gives him an inform important information. He says that please stop Eren um, Where is it? Yeah, please stop Eren um, and you wouldn't even like you know like uh, he's going to do something even more crazier after this he said something like that i think yeah grisha said something like i've actually seen the memories and he's going to do something even more crazier after this so please stop Aaron. and yeah and then he gets like you know forcefully ejected i don't know what happened there probably the next episode will let us know and like and it's just like you know standing in front of uh, grisha Wow, and that's the end. Damn, this episode. Oh, so many things. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 I hope I was able to understand everything properly. I think I am. You know, I, I probably was able to understand the intricacies and the reasoning behind all the actions and everything, hopefully. So, yeah, it's kind of mind blowing if you think about it. Like all this time, Aaron basically made himself. You know, Aaron 
like you know he 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 said that he was a monster from birth if you like you know think of it that way like he was like this from the beginning okay it was not because of some brainwashing this and that he was like this from birth and his future self basically kind of uh made the path that he's walking currently you know like he he made Aaron the way he is now and this is time we're talking about you know there's there's like no like you know what can i say like there's no ah what what can i say like you know like you you cannot actually properly comprehend time in a normal manner in a normal manner it's not like past present future no it's like all combined together like you know like your your future self can do something which might affect your past self like it's kind of to think about it logically it wouldn't make sense but it actually does happen like that i guess because it's time you know in time there's no logic you know there, there, there might be something your future self did because of that your past self got affected like as i said like this this kind of brings forth a paradox kind of like a paradox but for time you know like it might either like you know branch into a parallel world like either some like if there's something like this like which something that happens because of your future self's actions either the world might branch and it might become a parallel world either that or like you know or something else i'm like you know it's like it's like a weird thing this time concept is a weird thing so just like you know if like you won't be able to logically think about this just shut down your brain and just go with the flow because that's what time does time is kind of like a like you know river kind of flowing <laughs> like you need to go with the flow with the time and yeah like even though if you think logically about this whole thing of how Eren like you know kind of whispered all of this thing to Grisha and Grisha did all of the things on Eren's command and made Eren the person who he is now you know by injecting everything uh, the serum and like you know making him consume himself this and that and you know like if you think logically about it is it does not make sense but since this is time, concept of time, you know, like you shouldn't think much about it. Like this is how it went. And uh, I think so at least, you know, like <laughs> at least from my point of view, I think this is how it went. So anyways, that was it. So <laughs> wow, fantastic episode. My God. Oh my God. This season is, I think, I think this season is even better than the previous one. <laughs> like every episode we're getting something, something crazy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Attack on Titan, the final season, part two, episode number four. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. My god, I've been talking for like 40 minutes, I think, or something like that. Damn, that was a long discussion. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week with another Attack on Titan, the final season part two episode. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.